moving to study in a new country could be a daunting task. Now seeing how students have taken this process and how life looks like once you arrive at Sterling, we will reassure the international students who are planning to study at the University of Sterling. So guys, in this video, I'll be giving you guys a sneak peek into a day or two in my life as an international student studying at the University of Sterling. Come along with me, let's go. Hi guys, my name is Akio Ali and I'm an international student from Nigeria currently enrolled for a master's degree program in Digital Media and Communication at the University of Stirling right here in Scotland So before we get into the video, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory and how settling to a new environment was quite a seamless process for me So a few weeks before travelling to the UK one of the few things I did was to join some groups online and this gave me an idea of what the new environment is going to look like. Then secondly, while in Nigeria, I applied for the role of a student social media ambassador for the University of Stirling, which entailed the applicants to submit a short video as part of the application process. Now being a media producer myself, I was able to get it done. Quite a number of students applied for the role and I'm thankful for being part of the few students selected and also get to be a unibody as well. I'll come back to that later on in part of this video. So to get myself ready for the day, I've had this particular morning routine for quite a number of years which includes drinking a bottle of water and eating fruits in the morning. I actually think you all to try this routine, your immune system will thank you for it later on. Then I get a bottle of tea with milk as well. So while at it, I try to get some few things done on my laptop as well, like checking my student's email for any updates from my professor, replying to mails, checking deadlines for assignments, and so on. You really need to know how to multitask in the morning, especially when you have an early morning seminar or workshop to attend on campus. Now, most times, I usually don't eat in the morning before heading out, just a bunch of liquids and fruits. So I actually stay at John Fortis Court, which in my own opinion is one of the best accommodation an international student should stay. You know, I like how it's really central to everywhere for me. Anyways, I'll get back to that later on in this video. So I also have a skincare routine which, to be very honest with you, I've not really been consistent with it. But for the sake of this video, let's just say I did it, right? So here I am, all set for today's class. You know it took me like a week or two to adjust to the transport system here. Unlike Nigeria, where you can just step outside and get a cab anytime you want. Here, it's a different ball game entirely. The buses are well-timed to arrive at each bus stop. So Google Maps is my next best friend, telling me what time a bus will arrive. I could use the bicycle service to the school, but it's so sad that I never learned how to ride a bicycle while growing up. So the next best option is to walk down to school. And thankfully, a friend of mine recently showed me a shorter path to get into the cultural building and another thing I had to adjust to was the daylight savings. We are everywhere literally gets dark as early as 5pm and the day doesn't properly break till 8am. So there are just like 8 hours of daylight right here in Sterling. Now although this is only during the winter month, because during the summer, Scotland could actually get up to 18 hours of daylight. And of course, the weather isn't really stable. It could really be raining heavy right now and the sun could come out the next moment. And it's usually wet all day. Quite a number of things to adapt to if I must say. So here we are for one of my classes at Passport Building and these are some of my friends from Nigeria studying digital media and communications as well and these are the few shenanigans we engage in before the class starts. So for this semester, my classes usually hold at Passport Building and Cultural Building and here are just some sites from how my classes looks like. So after my classes, I'm usually at the student's hub. If I'm not rushing home, I could be there for an hour or two to either study at the library, catch up with friends, or have some snacks to eat. It all depends on the vibe for that day. And the student's hub area is actually a cool spot. And there seems to be an art house just around the corner. So usually after my classes, I could go to the store to get some groceries or any other household item. Now remember earlier on, I said John Fortis Court is one of the best accommodation for an international student. So hear me out guys. Now for someone who is trying to get settled into a new environment, one of the few things you want to avoid is stress. So this particular accommodation is really central to everywhere for me. There are two grocery stores not far from there. 
It's not far from the city center. It could be a walkable distance to the campus if you want. It's not far from the train station. My church is also around the corner. So the accommodation just works fine for me. So for today, I went to an African store to get some ingredients to cook a meal known as a foriro back in Nigeria. It's actually a Yoruba delicacy and it tastes really nice. And I have interesting flat meat as well from Nigeria, Kenya, China and India. And the diversity in our cultural background is actually the beauty in our friendship. Because I've learned a lot of things like trying out food from other countries, hanging around the kitchen to gist, sharing different stories about our culture and so many other interesting things. Now thankfully the World Cup is on. Even though the super egos of Nigeria failed to qualify for the World Cup, that shouldn't stop us from supporting other African countries, right? And usually, some of our friends also come around to visit later in the day, and we could have some party later at night as well. I mean, it's usually a vibe in my flat whenever these things happen. And sometimes, I could be in my room working. So earlier in this video, I spoke about applying for the role of a student social media ambassador and also being a part of the Unibody team as well. So what this means basically is producing content for the investor of selling official social media channels, just exactly what I'm currently doing right now. Or you could chat me up on Unibody if you need to make some inquiries or plan to resume in the forthcoming academic session. Just visit stay.ac.uk forward slash chat and you locate me there. My name is Akiwale or any other member of the Unibody team as well. And if I'm not doing all these, I could be getting some assignments done or doing some production and editing work for my clients as well. So I have some clients that I help produce content such as podcasts and other digital media content for. So for the better part of the day, I could be in my room producing and editing content as well. And on some other days, we could just be playing some games. And if you feel like you could beat me at any of these games such as table tennis, snookers or any other board game come challenge me i like a good challenge or on some days i could go to the cinema which is also not far from the city center as well another advantage of staying at john forty's court now usually i try to play football later at night at the sports center you just have to book ahead which i usually do like twice in a week you know your brother needs some form of exercise right Settling into selling is quite an easy one, coupled with the fact that it's a very friendly community. So guys, that's literally how an average day or two in my life looks like in selling. Do not forget to drop a thought in the comment section as well. I'll be right here to reply to your comments. Like, share, and definitely subscribe to this channel as well. And guys, that's all I have for you guys in this particular video. Follow Investor of Selling on all social media platforms as well. And definitely, have a good one guys. Peace.